Spreading time scales, we've been around as a civilization. Let's let's give it, say forty thousand years. I don't know how long our civilization's been around. Let's say that the, the the galaxy is pretty much as old as the universe. It's thirteen billion years worth of time. The idea that there are no, no civilizations arose, you know, a hundred million years ago, two hundred million years ago, one billion years ago, and imagine what they'd be like if they'd survived. I mean, we've been we've been around. We've had science for let's say since Newton or Copernicus, 500 years at most. We've had, and look what we've done. We've, we've gone beyond the solar system with Voyager. We've walked on the moon. We've, we're, we're about to go to Mars, I would think. So we're about to begin colonizing our own solar system. We've done that in 500 years. <laughs> so yeah. imagine a million years right. in the future. So I would, it's one of the arguments often used to say there aren't any civilizations out there in the galaxy. It's called the Fermi Paradox. Because if you imagine a civilization that's a million years ahead of us, they should have written their presence across the sky by now. They should, you should see them. Mm. I mean, you'll see us. If we survive a million years into the future, actually even a few thousand years into the future, we will be exploring the galaxy. We will have spacecraft that are going to other stars. We will be doing it. So our signature will become visible, I'm sure, if we last.